Hey everybody, welcome back to the Elon Musk podcast. This is a show where we discuss the critical crossroads that shape SpaceX, Tesla, X, The Boring Company, and Neuralink. And I'm your host, Will Walden. If you want uninterrupted episodes of the Elon Musk podcast, please go to clubelon.supercast.com to find out how. There's a link in the show notes. A Delaware judge recently overturned Elon Musk's Tesla compensation package, valued at $55.8 billion, deeming it excessive and unjust for shareholders. This landmark decision has stirred considerable debate in the corporate and legal realms, highlighting the complexities of executive compensation and also corporate governance. Chancellor Kathleen St. J. McCormick of the Delaware Court of Chancery critiqued Tesla's board for failing to demonstrate the fairness of Musk's pay plan to the company's shareholders. This ruling underscores the legal responsibilities boards face in justifying executive compensation packages, especially those of unprecedented magnitude. Now, the case originated from a lawsuit by a Tesla shareholder who argued that Musk's close connections with the board members influenced the compensation negotiations unduly. The situation brings to light the intricate dynamics between a company's leadership and its governance body, raising questions about independence and objectivity. Now, Musk's defense highlighted this crucial role at Tesla, arguing that his leadership was vital for the company's future success. And this defense portrays the often complex balance companies must strike between rewarding pivotal leaders and ensuring fair treatment of shareholders. Now, the ruling has placed Tesla's board in a precarious position, as described by the analyst Daniel Ives. They're now tasked with formulating a new compensation agreement that satisfies both Musk and the shareholders amidst considerations of an appeal or a change in the company's incorporation. Now, Musk's reaction to the ruling was to suggest relocating Tesla's incorporation to a more business-friendly state, such as Texas or maybe Nevada. Now, this response indicates a potential shift in corporate strategy to mitigate legal and regulatory challenges. Now, legal experts like Anat Alan Beck uh, attribute the ruling's outrage or outcome, I'm sorry, to Musk's disregard for foundational corporate governance principles. This perspective emphasizes the importance of adhering to established legal frameworks and corporate decision-making processes. And despite the nullification of the compensation package, Musk retains a significant ownership stake in Tesla with approximately 411 million shares. Now, this substantial holding underscores Musk's ongoing influence and investment in the company. And the decision has reignited discussions on executive compensation, especially when juxtaposed with the more modest earnings of rank and file employees. Now, critics argue that Musk's package exemplifies the widening gap between executive and worker pay scales. And the legal challenge was spearheaded by a shareholder who owned a minimal number of Tesla shares. Yet, it led to a significant judicial review. This case illustrates the power that individual investors can wield in holding corporations accountable, as we all should. Now, Musk's compensation structure was based on achieving specific performance milestones, aligning his financial incentives with the company's success. Now, this approach to executive pay, while common, is now under scrutiny in light of the recent court findings. And the legal battle extends beyond financial implications for Musk, potentially impacting his broader entrepreneurial ambitions, particularly in the realms of AI, robotics, and also with SpaceX. And this intertwining of Musk's personal ventures and Tesla's trajectory shows that there's an interplay between individual and corporate objectives. And Musk's assertion that he requires a larger ownership stake to effectively lead Tesla's innovation efforts shows that there's a little bit of a tension between executive control and also shareholder democracy. This stance raises questions about the optimal balance of power within publicly traded companies. But this Delaware ruling, it could have far-reaching effects on corporate America's relationship with the state. Traditionally, a preferred jurisdiction due to its business-friendly laws and courts, Musk's criticism of Delaware could prompt other high-profile companies to reconsider their legal domiciles. And the case's outcome may influence how corporations approach executive competition in the future, too. Also, com uh, corporate governance and legal strategies, as companies navigate these challenges, they must balance this out. And there's 
a balance between diverse interests of uh, stakeholders, including executives, shareholders, and employees alike. Now, the legal and financial ramifications of the ruling extend beyond Tesla, though, potentially setting precedents for how executive compensation packages are structured and approved. This decision could serve as a cautionary tale for other companies and other boards of directors. Now, Musk's contemplation of relocating Tesla's incorporation shows a strategic response to legal and regulatory environments. This move could have significant implications for Tesla's operational, financial, and governance frameworks going forward. And the Delaware court's decision to nullify Elon Musk's Tesla compensation package shows that there's critical issues in executive compensation sometimes, corporate governments, and also legal accountability. Now, as Tesla and Musk navigate through this aftermath, the case's implications extend beyond the immediate parties, offering valuable lessons for corporations and their leaders worldwide. And we'll probably see a few other companies leaving Delaware and maybe moving to Texas in the near future. Hey, thank you so much for listening today. I really do appreciate your support. If you could take a second and hit the subscribe or the follow button on whatever podcast platform that you're listening on right now, I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps out the show tremendously and you'll never miss an episode. And each episode is about 10 minutes or less to get you caught up quickly. And please, if you want to support the show even more, go to patreon.com slash stage zero. And please take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you tomorrow.